Rishi Sunak has washed his hands of the rise in national insurance put forward by the government last year, describing it in private discussions as the Prime Minister's tax, it has been claimed. It comes as Boris Johnson remains under pressure from his own backbenchers to step down as Prime Minister following the Partygate scandal. The Chancellor has been viewed as one of several potential leadership contenders to replace him. Announced in September 2021. National insurance contributions are set to rise by 1.25% from April this year to pay for health and social care service. But Tory MPs who have met with Mr Sunak over the cost of living crisis have been left with the impression that he is trying to distance himself from the national insurance hike. A source told the Mail on Sunday, Rishi referred to it as the Prime Minister's tax, which seemed quite pointed, to put it mildly. We were left with the impression that he didn't want to be associated with it. The tax hike is expected to bring in an extra £12 billion, and will go towards clearing the backlog of patients waiting for treatment on the NHS due to the coronavirus pandemic. It is part of a raft of measures, including a pledge to invest £36 billion over the next three years in the NHS, and a promise that no one will pay more than £86,000 for social care from October 2023, regardless of their assets. At the time, Mr Johnson described the package as the biggest catch-up programme in the health services history. However, the national insurance rise is said to have drawn the ire of backbenchers, at a time when it was becoming clear that the cost of living was on the rise. Ten Tory MPs rebelled against the government when the rise was put to a vote, with a further 44 abstaining. Now, Mr Johnson and Mr Sunak are under pressure from backbenchers again to scrap the rise altogether. Earlier this week, the Office for National Statistics revealed that the Consumer Price Index had soared to 5.4% inflation, the highest in 30 years. Last year, supply chain issues and shortages around the world due to the pandemic caused a rise in inflation, leading to a rise on household bills.